Hello everyone. In this video, I will brief you about basic types of patch controllers. In general, patch controllers are divided into four categories. Series controllers, shunt controllers, combined series series controllers, combined series shunt controllers. We will see these one by one. Series controllers. These are used to inject voltage in series with the line. The series controller could be a variable impedance such as capacitor, reactor, etc. A power electronic based variable source of main frequency, subsynchronous frequency or harmonic frequency. Voltage injection in series with the line is represented by a variable impedance multiplied by the current flow through it. Series controller supplies or consumes variable reactive power when this supplied voltage is in phase quadrature with the line current. Any other phase relationship involve handling of real power as well. Shunt controllers. These are used to inject current into the system at the point of connection. The shunt controller could be a variable impedance, variable source or a combination of these. Injection of current into the line is represented by a variable shunt impedance connected to line voltage as it causes a variable current flow. Shunt controller consumes or supplies variable reactive power when the injected current is in phase quadrature with the line voltage. Any other phase relationship will involve handling of real power as well. Combined series series control. This could be a combination of separate series controllers which are controlled in a coordinated manner in a multi-line transmission system. Or a unified controller. In this case, series controllers provide independent series reactive compensation for each line but also transfer the real power among the lines via the power link. Real power transfer capability of these type of controllers is referred as interline power flow control. This makes it possible to balance both the real and reactive power flow in the lines. And this helps to maximize the utilization of transmission system. The term unified here means the DC terminals of all controllers are connected together for real power transfer. Combined series shunt controllers. These controllers inject current into the system with shunt part and voltage in series with the series part. These are combination of separate series and shunt controllers which are connected in or which are controlled in a coordinated manner or it can be a UPFC that is unified power flow controller with series and shunt elements. When shunt and series controllers are unified, there can be real power exchange between the series and shunt controllers via power link. So these are the four types of facts controllers. We will study series controllers, shunt controllers in detail in the upcoming videos. Thank you.